Yeah, what's a good job, ladies and gentlemen? King Queens, how y'all doing? How y'all feeling? This is that we got AI Hound, the take a in New York, New York drill. Excuse me. I forgot about AI Hound. I'm not gonna lie. So, you know what I'm saying? This will uh, remind me and, you know what I'm saying? Keep me, you know? But, anyways, this was brought to us by OJ the Demon. And this was recommended to us by Zulu Zulu. Appreciate you for the recommendation. Let's get some more to it, man. This is 15-year-old Jameer Thompson. I Police say he is he wanted for murder. Thompson is wanted and will be charged with murder in the second degree. If Jameer Thompson Wasn't is watching, an accident or some I have shit? a message for you. We are considering you armed and dangerous. We are out looking for you as we speak. And for the safety of everyone, I urge you to turn yourself in. Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys have been doing like well in my absence. I apologize, but I'm back like with nothing belly. but quality and consistency. Damn. And really quickly, I know I say this a lot, but thank you guys so much for 1k subs. This has been a dream of mine for the longest, and I Congrats, really, OJ. really appreciate every single one of you guys watching this right now. I really can't thank y'all enough, but uh, you already know, I'm gonna just keep like being consistent and dropping think. bangers for you guys. So today's video is a bit of a sad, but very interesting one. Shit, While scrolling YouTube, too. I appreciate stumbled across Across a music video. The music video was titled AI Hound Times Veli Vels Stick Talk. Now, right off the bat, I'm gonna be honest, I had no idea who these guys were. It was uploaded by Moolah G's and uploaded two years ago. Being somewhat familiar with Moolah G's, I decided to click it. After listening to only Man, a couple of seconds of it, though, I was huh? completely amazed and just blown back with the talent of this kid and especially being so young. And this is no diss, but just by listening to him and looking at him, I just assumed that this oh nigga was God. 11 or some shit. But at this time, he was actually 15. It gave me such a nostalgic feeling, really reminding me of early Chicago drill. So of course, I was completely hooked. I wanted to find out more about this kid while digging deeper. I realized this kid was one of the first to do about everything New York drill wise and in an interview with his friend Moolah GZ's he talks about his what friend AI Jesus. Hound being one of the Wait, hold on, hold on. and in it realized that? this kid was one of the first to do about everything New York drill wise and in an interview with his friend Moolah GZ's the, the, huh? first to do about everything New York drill wise and in an interview with his oh, friend Moolah GZ's he talks about his friend AI Hound being one of the first drill rappers in 2019 which is a very controversial topic especially if we're talking about new york drill as a whole but if we're talking about That's yonkers specifically shit. we can definitely give this kid the title of face of yonkers or one of the early pioneers of yonkers drill for a fact and back then yeah, I and, I, and, and i was back that was still that was a yeah. nothing back and i was like i was a couple years ago That's two different. three years ago he was doing 300k 500k that's what i'm saying yeah we felt like feel me like around that time and a lot of other niggas wasn't rapping like a lot of rappers that was rapping that when i said this kid did about everything new york drill was i mean about everything he even did the whole yeah, the, jail the phone freestyle like, thing before d thing and k flock which is pretty funny but sad to be honest and even sadder he is currently facing nine years to life in prison and apparently he went on the run and did the race like the iconic trap star tk47 did and oddly enough tk was 16 when he did the race and ai was 15 when he did the race so they were pretty much around the same age anyways if you don't know yonkers is a city on the hudson river in westchester county new york ai hound whose real name is jameer thompson is a member of the 300 bloodhound brims the 300 bloodhound brims is a extremely violent and ruthless gang they are responsible for many many barbaric sadistic and petty murders they have been terrorizing the streets of yonkers new york since at least 2016 again they are responsible for some of the most serious crimes imaginable and ai hound is super young and associated with them at some very young ages ai has been arrested for some very serious crimes they say he's affiliated with a gang and has a violent criminal 
criminal history, including charges stemming from a stabbing, robbery, and gun possession. At the young age of just 11, he was arrested for robbing someone at knife point, which is just insane. Imagine getting robbed at knife point by a 11 year old. I low key think that's more scarier than getting robbed by someone who's older because they're literally thinking about consequences and whatnot. But an 11 year old probably just doesn't care and will actually poke you for about $5. At the age of 13, he was caught carrying yeah, a loaded handgun. Just in November of 2019, before the incident that we're gonna be discussing berries. today actually happened, he was charged with stabbing someone after getting in a dispute with them. I know that's a lot to process and I have no idea how this kid didn't get some type of year long sentencing for all of these insane charges, which is just crazy to me. But let's talk about today's main incident. AI being 15 at the time of April 25th, 2019, he was in Yonkers Grand Park when he robbed someone's gold chain, snatching it right off their neck and fleeing the scene. Later that day, around 9.30 PM, the same guy who got robbed by AI were with a couple of his friends and they were searching for AI. They spotted him and ran up on him on the corner of Lake Avenue and Morningside Place. At the same time, a 18 year old girl by the name of Marilyn Martinez was walking along the street with her nine-year-old sister. AI was alone and in fear of getting jumped he pulled out his gun, aimed and fired at the guy but I'm guessing AI needed glasses because he completely missed and ended up headshotting right, the young lady who was a complete innocent bystander. She died on impact holding her nine-year-old little sister's hand which is very heartbreaking and unfortunate. This was all actually caught on camera. Witnesses and surveillance footage is how they actually identified AI being the trigger man. Again, this kid was an absolute demon and is mind boggling to me how he was even on the streets to begin with. Two of the camera angles were released to the public, so let me just break those down for you really quickly. We are now looking at camera angle number one, which shows the guys jumping out of the car and running on AI for obviously snatching his chain earlier that day. As we can see, the guy wearing all black runs up and confronts AI, I'm guessing. That's Him being the, the one specifically who got his chain taken. He ends up getting close to AI. As we can see in the second camera angle, I AI is the person angle. in the yellow hoodie. He pulls out his weapon aiming for the guy in the black hoodie, but completely missed, My firing God. behind him where the victim was. And here we can see her nine-year-old little sister running for help, which again is just super hard breaking. AI fled once again. This time he was on the run. He fled all the way to North Carolina. The feds got involved and they had a manhunt for him for about two weeks. Within those two weeks, wanted posters were up everywhere. They even put 10k on his head. $10,000 for anyone who helped find this 15 year old, which is insane. Like how does this even happen? But uh, he ended up turning himself in on May 7th for felony charges of second degree murder, attempted second degree murder and second degree criminal possession of a firearm he pled guilty luckily he was being charged as a juvenile because we all seen what happened to take a ai was sentenced to nine years to life in prison which is pretty good considering what he did now if you don't know when someone is sentenced to x amount of years to life in prison that just means they have to serve those x amount of years and if they're deemed fit they'll be released and if not they'll get life but super sad case we did not only lose such a talented rapper we also lost a innocent young woman for yeah. no reason but yeah. as usual let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comments uh i'm gonna try really hard to upload again this week but if i don't i am so sorry but yeah thank you guys so much again it's been your boy oj the demon and i'm out i'm not gonna lie i don't i don't, I don't know what i was thinking coming to this video um i was probably thinking i was gonna pick up some i didn't know or like you know what i'm saying learn something new but that's pretty much everything I, I knew already. The only thing I could probably say or take away from this is probably my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, no, dad, when I heard about that shit, I was like, yo. Man, the, the young lady that lost her life and then, you know what I'm saying, her sister, you know what I'm saying, she got she to gotta live with that for the rest of her. It's like, you know what I'm saying, that's the biggest takeaway from all this shit. So, first and foremost... R.I.P. and condolences to her loved ones. Um, yeah, nah, uh, unfortunate situation. I don't want to. I can say dumbass situation, but I don't want it because you know what I'm saying. Shit happens, you know. Unfortunately, shit happens. Um, but yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm gonna leave it at that because, you know.
But anyways, man, appreciate you again, Zulu, for the recommendation. Links in the description, getting to them. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Y'all take it easy. Good book, 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 book. Good book.